Now, days after the terror strikes ripped through Paris, Muslims in the city slammed the perpetrators of the heinous attacks. They argue that the perpetrators are just terrorists and fanatics and their religion has nothing to do with their actions. On Sunday, Muslims arrive for one of five prayers of the day. As they come and go, a few of them are willing to talk to journalists outside. Like all Parisians, they are deeply upset with what happened on Friday night and are angry that the terrorists claim to represent their religion. They tarnish Islam. They don't even think of their families, these guys. His whole family is in police custody. Did he think that his whole family would be there for four days, maybe going to jail? He tarnished his family, Muslims, our community. He tarnished everyone. It's the second time this year that France's Muslims have seen carnage brought to the streets of Paris by a few radical Islamists. Community leaders promptly denounced the massacre along with other followers of Islam, while some said it has nothing to do with them. This is about police and terrorism. I repeat, police and terrorism. People living in France and whatever their origins and religions are not directly involved. I would call them terrorists and only terrorists, not jihadists, not Islamists, because they are terrorists. I was 100 meters from the first explosion. The bomb would not have differentiated between a Muslim and a Buddhist. The first explosions hit the national stadium in the Saint Denis suburb. Muslims living here are trying to carry on as normal, though many fear a backlash. Following the Charlie Hebdo attacks in January, the National Observatory of Islamophobia reported an increase of more than 280 percent. Nisagamama, <laughs> 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 